Hi all, welcome to the RPA Feed channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about Bot Insights in A360. Bot Insight is a tool that provides valuable information and analytics about the bot that are created using A360 platform. It helps us to monitor and analyze the performance of bots. And based on the data that is available, it helps organization to make decisions and optimize their processes. Bot Insights gathers data and generate reports on various aspects of the bot activities, which is not limited to bot execution time, error rates, and the number of tasks completed. This is one of the sample dashboard. This is how the bot dashboard looks like. Let's try to build a live bot dashboard, a bot wherein we pass some parameters, we tag some analytic variables, and then we try to see that in bot insights. So let's switch over to automations workspace. Over here, I'm going to create a new bot. Let's name it bot insights demo. Now we will be building a bot which will have bot insights variable and then we will be seeing that bot insight dashboard. I have created one CSV file which contains course details with these parameters ID, name, category, level, price and duration of the course. So let me go ahead and build this. So what we are going to do is we are going to read that data first. Okay, let me define steps. So first we are going to read the data from CSV, post that we will be assigning that to a uh, to all the variables right okay so for this reading csv data let me bring the actions so open open csv file read csv file and close the csv file okay let me pull those up here and the desktop file and the path of the desktop file i had copied already and let's copy paste the name of the file which is course details dot csv and it contains header and the delimiter is comma we want to trim the leading spaces trim trailing spaces so this is done in read let's keep the default session name and assign value to a variable let's create one table variable table from csv or we can say data table so data table of courses create now dt courses has will have all the details now we have to loop dt courses in order to extract the data from uh, csv and assign it to the variables why we are doing so i'll tell you in a while so let me go to a loop so here the loop would be on data table so our data table will be dt courses and we need a record variable let let's keep it as our table row now we need to assign all those variables which we are reading from the dt courses okay let me open the excel uh, csv file in a notepad just to copy all the headers okay now let me go to assign so first one is the course id so let me pull up a number variable assign this would be my records dt uh, sorry this will be my record variable and the uh, by index or by name i can do by index as well as by name i prefer going with name so that's id and this r table row id we uh, this value we have to store it in a number variable we need to create one which would be a uh, n course id 
n as y as is it is a number type variable so this is uh, the naming convention that i follow in order to uh, create variables so this is done similarly we have to do it for rest of the fields let's do it for name name category level price and duration quickly copy this two times because we will be needing them and then go to string package and assign so here i'll just copy this again for now here i'll go and select the table row and the name which i'm going to put is name it's a course name insert and then we have to create course name variable let's create that and then i have to go probably here i can again select the table row in the name i have to put category let's create a category variable and then after that we have a level which is again a string so let me copy paste this instead of category i'll need to put level and here let's create a variable name level and then i have price and duration so let me go ahead here and put this in an exact format exact header whatever we have now the thing is it will not accept the special characters over here so we have to change that so what we can do in order to get rid of this error is we can put these in quotes okay now this error is gone and let's create a variable for this in order to hold this value it would be n price similarly we can do this for duration of months duration in months let me go back here and put this value in a quotes duration of month let's make let me create a variable n duration course duration or duration that's fine so now we are done all our variables are created and yeah we have the loop ending as well so let me try to run this basically and uh, let's try to check if all the values are read properly and let me print a message box here at the end so in this in this message box we'll be printing all the variables so that would be n course id we have to convert this to string because message box only accepts string parameters so this is about the course id then we have to print the course name course category and then we have level price dot to string and then we have duration dot to string so with that let's try to run this let me close this file and let's try to run and test if we are getting all the values correctly the bot is downloading all the dependencies and in a while it should run yeah so we are getting the values so this is the very first record we will get message box for all the 10 records and then bot will complete it execution so this is done this is a normal bot building which we have done now we want to tag we want to tag all these variables as a bot in, uh, and want to see them in a bot inside dashboard so for that we have to go to analyze command or analyze package and in analyze package we have to choose this open and close actions so basically whatever is there whatever assignment or transaction which is done within these statements will be tagged as a bot inside variables or your analytical variables so if you wish to not include some of them so from here you can select all then all will be tagged if you wish to not tag some of these or you wish to tag only few of them and let's say i want to tag co uh, course or uh, duration price category and course name and level i don't want to go with course id maybe let's say so then you can select accordingly right so this is how you have to include them and for now let me disable the message box because we don't need it so once you have 
configured this uh, within the analyze open and close actions you have to run this bot again so that uh, this registers it as a uh, available it's available within the bot dashboard so let's let us run this initially remember we had ran this just to check our logic right we are reading the data correctly and then we are assigning the variables correctly but you have to run this uh, once you have this analyze open and close command after this you have to run this once the bot run is successful then you have to click on these three dots and from here you, you need to click on bot insight analyze dashboard so this will create a dashboard for you it will configure your business dashboard see here with the, the default name would be the name of your bot and this is what you have got your variable name what is total duration total price level and course name so here you have your courses uh, like your entire dashboard is built it is the collection or sum of your total months sum of your price in dollars and the course name the various different courses that are available and course name by duration so machine learning is uh, the duration is five months similarly for others as well so this is a donut chart then this is a, a different bar chart which is giving you uh, displaying duration by course name these are the course and this is the duration then here duration and the level so you can modify these if you don't want uh, if you don't like the current representation you can very well go here and click on settings then whatever you want to name it you can change the name you can change the bar type let's say maybe line and we click on next finish so it, it's it's changed you can see the representation is changed to line similarly here you will see all the attributes all the variable names that you have tagged which are numeric which are string right that kind of variables and in profile you will you will see the data types and what operation it is performing right rank sum average you can edit those as well and this is the transaction data which is being calculated over here and here you can when you're changing you can preview as well so that's a basic uh, uh, logic behind building a dashboard and then you can filter out the dashboard you have different actions over here to save this dashboard or maybe publish this as or download it as a pdf and get the screenshots so all these actions are also available over here you have a filter a date range filter and this is about the business dashboard if you go back this is one way of of building your dashboard and seeing your dashboard directly from uh, the taskbot if you do not wish to uh, or if you if you do not wish to like every time it will not be feasible for you to uh, see the dashboard while building it right later la in later point in time if you want to view the dashboards so for that what you can do is you can close this for now you can go to home page uh, the explore part of it and here you have the link open bot insights you can click here so it will take you to the bot insights home page and wherein you will see all your available dashboards so there are two kind of uh, dashboards operations dashboard and business dashboard the one which we have seen just now was business dashboard bot insight demo right this was a business dashboard in operation dashboard we have two type of dashboards one is bot and one is device dashboard so device dashboard will give you other details about your runner machines device utilization so currently my one this one runner machine so one device is online offline device is zero bot scheduled on devices so all that historical data as well here you will see and the utilization of your device that utilization data is there and error details if you get some errors right on your runner machine so what are those common errors you'll get that details as well and in your bot dashboard it will be the parameters the, some additional parameters which are excluded the device related details are excluded here apart from that you'll, you'll see the data for now we don't have any data that's why it's showing zero so that's pretty much about bot insights in a360 please like this video and subscribe to the channel we'll see you in the next video thank you